I think what people don't understand is by staying silent, they give the impression that nobody struggles with this. I'm here. And on and social media, I didn't it's even full think I would make it to the The highlight reel like, got so I didn't bad. Think I felt like the freedom yeah. that I have now. As I call them, the bad And thoughts. it feels so good <laughs> you know, to be so many people who say, yeah. I made it. But he was burdened. No one really was yeah. There was yeah. no question that the burden was so I found out that my friend took his life because of that. He was my college best friend. best friend. I had a lot of that really was my sister. I guess I can start by saying I never totally felt like I had a future. Since I was 12, I was known as a behaviorally challenged child, a violent child, um, if only because I had no other way to express my emotions. I wouldn't be diagnosed with autism until I was 16, and I wouldn't receive treatment for anxiety, for occasional violent tendencies, for impulse control until I was 18. I've struggled with disordered eating on and off since probably the age of 12 up until months ago. Because of all of this, I've had to face the message since I was a child that people, people like me end up in poverty or they end up in prison or they end up in menial work at best. I was told that someone with my disabilities could never make it into higher education. And because of that, because of the fact that I didn't think I had a future, there were moments throughout my life when I would hurt myself or when I would wonder if maybe it, was, it would be better if I just ended things here where they were. And I'll admit that's something, that struggle is something that has defined my life up until now. And now I'm, I'm here. And now I feel like I do have a future. I feel like I have a circle of friends and I have a major. I have, I'm getting better grades. I, being at UWG, I finally feel like I am going somewhere. It's because of my story that I am, that I have decided to major in special education because I think kids like I was need to hear from who I am now. I want to share the message with people who have mental disabilities and illnesses like mine that no matter what the rest of the world tells you, you do have a future and it can be a very bright future. And I want to say to anyone who is in the place that I was in at 12, at 14, at 16, that a brighter chapter is coming, so please don't, for the sake of your future self, don't let your story end here.